Welcome to Auto Tech Scott Talent, where the best early stage automotive technology companies battle it out for the win as they face off over 10 weeks. You help to nominate the companies, you will help to decide the winner. The winning company will receive an offer of $100,000 investment from Automotive Ventures. I'm excited to welcome Dinesh from ADAPT as one of our 10 Auto Tech Scott Talent finalists. ADAPT provides a simple API purposely built for smart transportation development featuring a built-in transportation data exchange. The auto industry has been focused on collecting data from vehicles, but not as much on the use of the data once it is collected. ADAPT's mission is turning data into assets. ADAPT works with OEMs and insurers who are struggling with the best way to use and monetize data. The rules for today are simple. The contestant has five minutes to pitch, They'll get a one minute warning from me and then it'll be cut off at the five minute mark. Then our judges go to work and we'll have five minutes for Q&A, after which we'll ask the judges to vote. Then for the following week, we'll ask you for your vote. You help us pick the winning company. With that, I'll hand the mic over to Dinesh from ADAPT to get started. I look forward to hearing his pitch. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having Thank ADAPT. You, you. Um, love to start with sharing a little bit about ourselves. So my name is Dinesh. I'm the founder and CEO of, of ADAPT. I was actually born and raised in Hong Kong and um, came to States, went to Brown, did computer science, initially started with IBM, and then did my couple of startups, um, first in telecommunications, and eventually joined the mobility transportation side a few years ago, starting with computer vision and um, data. I will share more about what ADAPT is about. Currently, I live in San Francisco with my wife and, and a four-year-old daughter. Eric? Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Eric. I'm the co-founder of ADAPT, and I'm responsible for products. Before starting ADAPT for many years, I was a business architect at Cisco Systems, driving business transformations for internal and external customers by really connecting the strategic partnerships among them. Um, my passion is really to break silos, traditional and even the, the new ones. And I see huge opportunities in the mobility transportation industries. And this is one of the reasons why we start ADAPT together. And we want to really transform the world. We want to transform the industry. With that said, let me talk to you what ADAPT is about. So when we say that ADAPT is a mobility data platform, Mobility for us is defined as anything that moves people or goods around different places. And mobility data is anything that has a location or time series in it. Now, um, as we have been saying, there's a lot of people already collecting data. In fact, 90% or 80% of the data being collected are not being used. The problem is that these data could actually be, be able to use for making our roads better and our lives better. There's also business opportunities to it. And that's what ADAPT is about. We want to make it very simple for companies to think about these business opportunities and really turn these data that they have collected into assets. We build our platform with simplicity and efficiency in mind. Currently, we are already integrated with over 23 different brands of vehicles and with over 100 million vehicles uh, on the road that you see today. In our platform, we have over 1.2 billion data points already running on our platform. So let me give you a use case, right? For people who love wine, let's say a winery in, in Napa is delivering their wines to someone in San Francisco. They want to go into renewable energy, want it to be more sustainable, they are delivering their uh, wine, whether through their own logistics operations or through their um, third-party logistics. They want to know how good their emissions are. With ADAPT, we will be able to take the data coming directly, whether from the vehicles, the smartphones, or any devices they have, and turn it into real information. In fact, this exact example is one of our current projects that we are working with one of the largest insurance company in the world that they want to offer their services to their fleet operators, their customers, because more and more companies are looking into providing a carbon emissions report. So the business model or business focus of the ADAPT is on three layers. One is 
working with industries to create new applications by unlocking the data coming from these mobility in products, whether it's car or assets. As I mentioned in the previous case, helping operators to reduce their carbon emissions by first measuring what is there and then looking at the focus of the source. And third is working with auto dealers as well as insurance providers to reduce or find ways to integrate a great experience when people are buying new vehicles or used vehicles. A little bit more about ourselves. Both Eric and myself come from a tech background. We did computer science and we are very passionate about using data or using technologies to improve people's lives. I myself saw the importance of how sustainability play in our uh, society. So I went back to school and pursued my master's degree in sustainability at Harvard. Today, we are here to hope to make lives or everyone better. I don't think the natural disasters that we are seeing today is natural. And I think data could be a major point that we can use to solve these problems. And we hope to work with the whole industry and people like you together. Thank you very much. Perfect timing. It's great. Thank you, Dinesh, and thank you, Eric. Uh, judges, you have five minutes for questions. So, Dinesh, just talk to me quickly about how it works. I mean, so, for example, I've, you know, let's just take your example. Uh, I've got a fleet of, you know, 50 cars. Uh, do I come to ADAPT and ADAPT has a product? How does ADAPT pull the data out of my vehicles? Um, how, do, how does all that, all that happen? Why don't you talk to me about that? Yeah, that's a very good question. So depending on whether you already have an external device like a camera, OBD2, or simply using a smartphone, if you already have that, then some way you're already collecting data, whether in your server or even through an email sending it to you, right? All you have to do is to connect those data to our platform, whether you're just forwarding an email, if you have a database, connected database, or yeah, even a CSV file. Our algorithm, which is our pattern, will be able to distinguish what data is relevant for what applications. So if you are thinking about doing the carbon emissions, we will be able to pick uh, the mileage, make model of the vehicles that we have them, as well as uh, some driver's behavior and automatically calculate them. So the point here is that we make it very simple because our algorithm will know what data is good for what purpose. Are you then taking that data and aggregating it and selling off in larger buckets? No. Are you that's not our that's not our role uh, what we are trying to do is really to enable companies uh, the whole idea that we are seeing is that in the industry while there's a lot of data that's already in the marketplace there are a lot of data that's not being used and we want to help companies to unlock them so it could be unlocking them for their own use or for uh, major partnerships you gave us a use case on, on carbon emissions uh, give us one or two examples of monetization uh, use cases that you guys have in mind. Eric, you want to answer this? I'm sorry, the one one more use case about monetization. About monetization, yeah. In other words, who's going to make money based on using your service, and where's that money going to come from? Yeah, so so one of the actually uh, customers that we have been discussing with is Samring. Um, I don't know if you are familiar with. They they are basically a, a pretty big um, a company from Japan, but in the U.S. they are also doing a lot of the road assets survey. For instance, like checking where you have potholes, where you have like exit signs and whatnot, and they are selling their their data to Google Map, Waze, you name it, right? Now in the process, they actually have no idea how good the data that they actually process or they have been collecting. So our scoring and categorization engine basically help them to better act, uh, act categorize and organize and also qualify the data to as a, as a, even as a self evaluation to know that whether they're ready to really go to market with those data. Um, and and the, in, in that process, we enable um, API based transactions. We enabled uh, all sort of like yeast, yeast to use so that they are not uh, currently they're only handling the data through spreadsheets and all the um, and transactions are actually through spreadsheets. So we are also automating that process for them. How are they finding out? How do people find out about you? How do you market yourself? Um, how do you, you know, how do I know that using you would be a good thing for my business? 
That's why we are in mm-hmm. this competition, right? The, the, the answer is um, currently we are working with a few strategic partners. Like I said, one of our partners is a major insurance company in 40 countries. We are enabling them to provide the services to their customers. We are also working with a few uh, um, telematics operators. Uh, I think our role is to really be the platform to help companies to enable their services and allow them to go out and build the applications or services or any partnerships that they want to do. Again, I think the key aspects here is most companies already have the data in mind. Question is how to use them. And our role is to help them to leverage on the usage of those data, whether you are a truck operator, whether you are a dealer, whether you are a OEM. You guys mentioned being <clears throat> integrated with 23 brands and there was 100 million vehicles on the road. So help me understand how that works. It sounded like you were saying if, even if I had a cell phone, you could take the data from that. So from that perspective, would you not be integrated with every vehicle on the road? Well, those integrations is direct integrations. So okay. those are with cars that's already on the road. We already have the API connected to them. Some are directly through the OBM, OEM. Some are with our third parties API, but we already integrated into those. Yeah. Okay. Any last questions? Okay. All right, judges. Time is up. Uh, we'll ask you to uh, score. Thank you, Dinesh, and thank you, Eric. Great work. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. I just wish I was as smart as they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can always go back to school, Kelly. Uh, yeah, I could. You're right. <laughs> I don't know if uh, data, uh, <laughs> that would be really my thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see the scores. All right. Okay, great. Thank you, judges. Now it's your turn. We look forward to hearing your vote and keep an eye on the Autotech Scott Talent Leaderboard on AutomotiveVentures.com.